after I have that, I then have 32 ounces of celery juice. And celery juice has been really great for me, for my health. Hello, how are you? I hope you are all well. Now, I'm very excited because today I'm going to chat about Miranda Kerr, this former Victoria's Secret angel, a supermodel, and wait till you see this woman. Um, she is stunning, beautiful, just fabulous. So I'm very excited because she's doing the go to bed um, skincare routine with me with Harper's Bazaar. And I'm going to put a link to the original video below for you to have a look at. And why do I, why am I interested in this? Is because I have my own skincare band and it's always interesting for me to learn about ingredients and keep my own education going. Of course it is. But I hope at the same time when I'm doing these esthetician reacts that you are learning something too. It's all about education, it is. <laughs> so I am an esthetician myself and have been for over 30 years and I'm still treating clients, I still do consultations and I also train beauty therapists throughout UK and Ireland. Mm -hmm, I do. So this is really interesting for me to do these esthetician reacts. I hope you really enjoy them. Now before I go any further, please please hit that subscribe button and the bell. That would be so cool. Now, let's have a look and see this gorgeous woman. Yep, it's that easy, no hands. Well, maybe. When the kids go to bed at night, um, I get to have this little self-care ritual for myself and I really look forward to it because it gives me time to nurture me. For skincare, I only use Core Organics products. They're certified organic and healthy for you and also deliver powerful results. I don't want to put anything on my skin when it comes to my skincare unless it's going to be actively working and giving me results that I need. I just celebrated my 37th birthday and I'm happy to say that my skin has actually never looked better and I honestly know that that's because of Core Organics. Before I start my nightly skincare routine, I like to burn a little Palo Santo and Palo Santo is kind of like sage. So what you do is you burn it. I use it, burn it on my candle and then I waft it around. Take a few deep breaths. It really helps clear the space and to clear the energy. I love Palo Santo. We'll now start with my skincare routine. Are you mm, just to say, Palo Santo is supposed to smell like pine and lemon. So if you're into that smell, mm -hmm. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> um, I do love that idea though. And I think it's great that we're getting to this vibe of making it a ritual when you look after yourself and doing your skincare routine. I do love that. And personally, I do like a really nice soy candle. I do. And I burn them every single night. I, yeah, I go through a lot of candles. Um, but I do like this idea very much. And it's about getting negative energy away and really getting yourself to a very calming place so that you really do feel great when you start to take your makeup off and cleanse your skin and look after you. It's all about self-care for men and women. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So 37 though and three kids. This woman looks amazing. <laughs> oh, for three, ch three children. Wow. Use Cora Organics Cream Cleanser. So what I do is I just put a few pumps on my hand and then I rub it into my skin like so. And I like to double cleanse, so and I remove all the makeup. Lately I've been using these sponges because I feel like they help remove all the makeup. And have a little more cleanser there. Rub it into my skin. And voila. The next step after I've cleansed with that gentle cleanse. Right, I do think good double cleanse, wonderful. 
Yes, very good, Miranda. And secondly, I thought she was very gentle with her fingers putting the cleanser on. I love that. I did notice, and I'm sure you will too, that her skin goes quite pink. Uh -huh. So she's got an easily reactive skin. And you have to know that right away because when we're talking about the products. So if you've got that highly reactive skin um, when you're cleansing, you need to know that the circulation okay, is coming up to the surface. And what that means is that as you get older and your skin becomes finer, you really have to be careful that you don't get broken capillaries. So everything you use is going to be, should be calming and soothing and not stimulating at all on that type of skin. Now, you know, she looks fab. And what I did like, I have to say, <laughs> was that she did not have any makeup on to begin with. And I, I couldn't see any on. So that is fabulous because a lot of the celebs don't like you seeing them without any makeup on. <sighs> anyway, she did do, she she's taking her, you know, whatever, she's got no makeup on, looking great. And let's talk about this cream cleanser. Now it's £27 for this Cora Organics cream cleanser, which I think is pretty good value. I do. And I quite like the texture and I saw it. I, I did like the look of it when she was using it. And this is what it's got in it. Aloe vera, moisturising, fab, glycerine, humectant, moisturising again. Rosehip seed oil, which is one of my personal favourites because it's like the vitamin oil delivering vitamin A to the skin so that's really cool. Bergamot oil that's not so good because that's quite a volatile citrus oil. Remember citrus oil or anything to do with citrus can stimulate skin. Lavender is also a, a wee bit like that sensitizing plant extract however it's got olive oil in it which is an antioxidant and you know moisturizing. Squalene which is moisturizing mimics your own sebum but again, it's got these citric acid, um, citric acid, lactic acid, limonene. Well, citric acid and limonene, you know, I'm not so keen on for her skin. The lactic acid, um, I think that's pretty good lactic acid because it's going to do some exfoliation, natural exfoliation. And these are right down at the bottom of the ingredient list. So all in all, I do quite like this cleanser. I would say I do quite like it because it's got low vera, glycine and rose hip seed oil pretty much at the top. So I would give this, you know, a try. I would give this a try. And again, the sponges, I'm going to chat a wee bit about the sponges. I don't like sponges. I know that people um, like sponges to use sponges and I would need to really feel those sponges. And I know another um, YouTuber, she's wonderful, Cassandra Banks, and she loves these sponges, uh, you know, and she's mentioned them. I think sponges maybe are fine if you're prone to normal oily acne type skins, but for this type of skin, I would say a no, and I much prefer these Raymer sponges, and I'll put a link down below for a Raymer sponge, but this is a sponge that's really very, very calming to skin when you put it on. It really feels so soft and will not aggravate your skin and it does take off a cleanser. It does. So I want you to have a wee look at them. Raymer sponges. They're good. But these kind of sponges, I'm not keen on them from someone's skin that's highly reactive. And I wouldn't, I would think that that was definitely causing it to be like that. I'm going to use the Calming Lavender Mist. I'm going to spray a few spritzes. and breathe in the aromatherapy of lavender. <sighs> so relaxing. I also like to keep this by my pillow so I can spray it on my pillow before I go to bed as well. But this um, lavender mist is also a toner. So it's, you know, a mist and it, it tones your skin. I then use one of my all time favorite products. Mm, the lavender mist, 100 mil for 24 pounds this is an expensive spray which is not necessary skincare okay i do think it's these things are nice if you're in this vibe but she's very much into this which i do love this um nice relaxing calming vibe uh-huh and it has got a low vera in it and it's got glycerine again it's got sodium pc which is skin replenishing but it's also got a few things in it it's got alcohol in it I'm not keen on that, that's drying to the skin. And tangerine peel extract, orange peel extract, citrusy stuff, which is stimulating and aggravating. 
I think and believe for her skin. So, you know, I'm not sure. I wouldn't say this is a, a must-have product. I would not, Miranda, I wouldn't. I think these sprays are, are great, you know, but really, they're not necessary. They're not skincare, okay? They're not skincare. The Noni Night Serum. This has natural AHAs and BHA ferments. And I'll put a few pumps there. So this Noni Night Serum, I absolutely love and it's helped me a lot with my pigmentation. So with each of my pregnancies, I developed pigmentation um, on my forehead. You can see, you'll see a little bit of it there. I've been using it for about eight months now and I've really noticed that my my pores look smaller, my pigmentation spots are almost gone and it feels um, kind of tingly when I put it on, which I really love. And don't forget to put it on your neck and your decolletage as well. So next is... The so we have Cora Organics Noni Night HA Resurfacing Serum, 30 mils, 65 pound. That's about the price you would pay for a really good serum. And I do like this serum, <laughs> I do. And I, I, who doesn't like a serum? But I do like this one. It's got lactic acid as a second ingredient on the list. And lactic acid is really a nice, I think a gentle exfoliant. It is an alpha hydroxy acid and it does, you know, help the skin cells to shed. So it will be really good for her melasma. Um, it's also got avocado oil in it and I do love avocado oil which is a really good antioxidant that neutralises the free radicals that can damage your skin. Mm -hmm. And also has skin replenishing fatty acids in avocado oil including linoleic acid um, which works to preserve moisture keeping your skin. It's really good for keeping moisture in your skin so it's really good for dehydrated skin. And it also strengthens the, the skin barrier. But it's got something I want to chat about. The fifth ingredient is lactobacillus ferment. And this has a potent soothing effect. This is this probiotic ingredient. And probiotic skin care is becoming a trend, definitely. And what it means is that probiotics are a bit like, you know, you've heard of it for when you eat, but um, in health and food. But sun damage, airborne pollutants, and all of that has an effect on your skin. And you know irritating skincare products can also do it but the skin's got a microbiome and this needs to be remain you know kept healthy and this lactobacillus ferment will do this it will absolutely restore the the critical balance of the microbiome on the skin and it just really helps keep a strong protective barrier it does so it's really interesting that to me and it keeps really the skin healthy and in good shape. Okay, that, that's good. It's also got great seed oil, which is an antioxidant. I love that. And glycerine. And off one of my all-time favourites, hyaluronic acid. Yeah. So the melasma, mm -hmm, it's something that happens. And it's in her case, it's definitely been hormone-led. And usually after you have your child... Um, if you've got it through your pregnancy, it really does disappear after a number of months quite naturally. But this is going to definitely help it. So I do like this Noni Night, what a name, Noni Night AHA Resurfacing Serum. I do like this one. Mm -hmm. It's good. Might be my favourite. It's the Cora Organics Noni Glow Face Oil. And I've been using this oil for over 10 years now. And it's... My holy grail product so I put a few drops in my hand here it's a nourishing treatment oil that's great for all skin types especially if you have sensitive skin it helps balance the pH and what I like to do is pat it into my skin it has noni extract rosehip oil sea buckthorn and a rich source of antioxidants and essential fatty acids that really help hydrate your skin brighten your skin it helps with scarring and even my husband uses this product he loves it he uses it every morning and night and it's really transformed his skin as well sometimes what I like to do with this Noni Glow face oil is massage my face with our gua sha tool I have two here right now mm, 
Right, interesting. She talked about her husband there using this and I do think that we all need to share all our skincare if we're not doing it already with our men in our life. I think we have to, yeah, we have to help them too. And I do like that idea. So the Cora Organics Noni Glow Face Oil, 10 mils for £22, has got this Noni. <laughs> Every one of our products has got Noni Night, Noni Glow. Um, I'm sure... There'll be more called Noni in the range, but the Noni is from the Noni juice, which is meant to be a plant extract that is an antioxidant. Mm -hmm. Really, there's not a lot of large scale clinical studies on this, not like, you know, vitamin C, l -exorbic acid, that type of thing, or retinal, vitamin E. So Noni juice, mm -hmm, I think it's it sounds really nice, doesn't it, Noni Glow face oil? So, but anyway, that's where the noni comes from. It is a noni juice. I do think this is a really good nourishing, you know, rosehip seed oil. Love it. Antioxidant delivering vitamin A. Acts like retinol, jojoba seed oil, sunflower seed oil. Replenishing, strengthening and soothing skin. It's got vitamin E in it. Uh -huh. But it's got these, and it seems to run through the products. It's got these essential oils or volatile essential oils. From the geranium extracts and I do know that some people will definitely have a reaction to these products so I do think that you have to be careful if you have got sensitive skin that you you know test a you know patch test something if you can before you use it all over <clears throat> I would do that because sometimes volatile essential oils can have this effect and they can really irritate skin and we don't want that we don't want that so just always maybe skin skin test and patch patch test first definitely so that's the noni glow face oil that our husband um evan spiegel the founder of snapchat multi-billionaire always helps and now she's going to go on and talk about her rose quartz um facial sculptor stones and i do love rose quartz heart shaped facial sculpture she's calling it heart facial sculpture <laughs> and it's quite expensive 43 pounds but i do like it so let's have a look and see what she does with them but um most people only buy one i have two because i love doing a double massage it feels so good and it really helps improve circulation as you can see, my skin's getting a little pink. As I was saying, you don't need to use two, it's just that I love them so much. It's made from rose quartz crystal, and actually all of Cora products are filtered through rose quartz to get that vibration of love. You can use these on all different pressure points, so I like to use it sometimes in my hands. Pressure point there. There's another little pressure point here. And also on my neck. I could do a whole video about the pressure points where I use my Gua Sha Rose Quartz. Our next product is the Noni Rain Eye Oil. So if you have a look up here, I've done the Gua Sha Rose Quartz myself. I've got a couple of videos um, about removing makeup and then using the, but the Gua Sha. Have a check at that video there. It really is great for you. and. I would say that I do love them and I would advocate the use of a gua sha 100%. The only thing you have to be careful of, and she's fine, she was doing it good, Miranda, is you have to be careful that you always make sure you have it something that gives it slip, which she's got her two oils on, so her serum and an oil. I do like that. And then she's using it in a nice way and she's using two. Hey, that's good. Why not? They're her own... <laughs> um, Cora organic one so she can have as many as she likes yes and I do quite like that but they really are good just be careful when you're using a gua sha to make sure you don't use it point on and you don't drag the skin do not drag your skin no don't do that keep it nice and gentle always gentle and it does do what she's saying it does stimulate the skin it gets the blood circulation going it helps depuff the skin and it also helps the lymph drainage take away any toxins so it's all good just always be careful if you've got sensitive skin 
Okay. And this Noni Radiant Eye Oil is an incredible product. It has a rose quartz rollerball. It has natural retinol in there from the ingredient called Kahai Oil. Um, so it really helps with those fine lines and wrinkles. Sometimes I just sit there and roll it around and around and around on my eyes. And I also do it on other little fine line areas. My very last step for my skincare before I go to sleep is my Noni Glow Sleeping Mask. So the Cora Organics Noni Reading Oil High Oil Hydrating Moisturizing Eye Oil is 10 mils for 34 pounds. Um, you know, it's got rosehip seed oil again, it's got sunflower seed oil, mac macadamia nut oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil, um, and it's got sea buckthorn oil. And, but you know, it's got all the things in it that you really would like. I think that she's already put quite a lot of the oil on the last one. Would I need this one as well? It's got caffeine in it, which definitely um, helps with depuffing the eye area. So I think that is good. It's a good. It's a good one, the caffeine, to have in an eye product because it also, you know, what happens here is that because the skin is so fine, your blood vessels here, if you rub your eyes or anything like that, they can leak into the area and cause this issue with colouring. It will look dark and it will look like dark circles. But the caffeine helps, you know, because the caffeine will really help that, the vasoconstrictor type thing it really constricts the blood vessels so they won't leak into it and that is good for it and it's you know it's like a micro stimulant to that area caffeine so it's a good ingredient to have in an eye oil um so yeah i quite like it it's anti-aging and yeah she's she's doing it all right right i feel that she's doing it good but she's now going to put on a sleeping mask so we've had the face oil We've had the eye oil, we've had the resurfacing serum um, and then we're going to put our mask on, on top. <laughs> I keep this next to my bed and I use it every single night. It's like a coconut jelly that it contains natural hyaluronic acid and so it locks in the moisture, it dries as a translucent veil and it is super nourishing and hydrating and locks in all of the active ingredients into your skin. It doesn't rub off on your pillow. And so in the morning you wake up and your skin is so bouncy and dewy and glowy. You guys are gonna thank me for this. Um, my mum's so obsessed with it. She uses it day and night. You can also use it as a quick um, flash hydration treatment. So you put it on, leave it on for like 10 20 minutes and then wash it off um, i used to do that a lot back when we were doing red carpet events i would use this as a quick flash hydration treatment a very funny thing that i've recently gotten into um, i have so i have a quick chat about the sleeping mask 100 ml for 43 pounds and it's got aloe vera, glycerine, humectant, and it's got absinthe oil, which is given omega free yatty skin acids to the, the skin, which is great for skin regeneration. It's an anti inflammatory skin conditioning. And it's got, which I quite like, um, phytosterol esters, which is like cholesterol, skin soothing, nourishing, and anti aging. And it's got my old favourite, hyaluronic acid. So that's cool. Now, the only thing I'm thinking is that she put on the oil, the face oil, the face oil, and before this, and really, you know, we're talking about when you're layering products, and always think about, I think, layering products where the lightest weight goes on first, if you like, and then I do think oils should go on last. An oil like this one, anyway, the face oil, I think. You know, would I put the mask on first and then the oil? Because she's saying that the mask is going to seal everything in. Well, mm, it would be probably the oil that would do that for me. Yes, it would. So I would think if you're going to try this um, Noni Glow Sleep Mask, and it does sound, it sounds great, the, the ingredients in it. I do like it. 
I do like this one. Um, but I would have put the oil on last and put this on probably probably before. Just thinking that thinking that way. So it's all about layering the lightest product first. Sorry, Miranda. Sorry. Mind slower. And so I saw this advertised somewhere quite some time ago. And when I was going through cleaning out of my closets, I saw this little guy in there and I was like, this is hilarious. I'm going to try it. So I saw it and people were saying, well, just like we exercise our body, we need to exercise our neck. And so lately I have been exercising my neck. Look, you just use it like this. Yep. Um, so there, that's a fun little thing that I use. What else? Don't think about that kind of thing. No, the neckline, um, some of it is cheap though, it is, it is. But it won't take away the double chin, no. Look at yoga exercises, facial yoga. Do that. Please look at that. Mm -hmm. What do I do outside of my skincare routine for the health of my skin? I start my day with water. Um, we have a filter here on the house, so I fill my water bottle up with about, um, I fill about 32 ounces, and then I have one lemon squeezed in there. And after I have that, I then have 32 ounces of celery juice and celery juice has been really great for me for my health and for my skin um, I really love it I do like to get Reiki facials from a friend of mine called Nusha Another mm. <laughs> so the water 100% I'm all with you there Miranda water is fantastic for your skin and you know I'm the first to say add a slice of lemon to your water it, you know it's fantastic it's great for your digestive system it's brilliant it's funny because when you put lemon into the water and you drink it it then alkalines the system which i think is really interesting but it is so good i love that hot water actually with a slice of lemon is one of my favorite tipples <laughs> now i think that's great the celery juice um have you tried celery juice <laughs> listen i'm sure it's amazing for you <laughs> but I'm not keen on it. I'm not keen on it. I've yet to find one I really like. And she's she's obviously liking it very much. Um so that's about the, the celery juice. So let's let's no talk no more about that one. The thing that I really love to do is body brush. So I dry body brush using upward strokes. Just go all the way up, 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 up from my toes. All now Reiki facials, yes, I absolutely have had them myself and I do love a full Reiki treatment all over. I do, I do. If you haven't had Reiki yet, if you haven't, you need to go and try it out and find someone near to you because when you are needing help, when you're tired, when things are going on in your life and, you know, it does show on your face, doesn't it? So get a Reiki and it will really it'll sort you out. You really have to. Reiki is fantastic. It's really a must, must, a must try and a must have treatment, especially what we're going through just now. Mm -hmm. Especially right now. All the way up, 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 up to like underneath my chin. And it feels so invigorating. It boosts circulation. It it helps your lymphatic system. It is uh, something that I do every single day. Um, and I feel like emotionally, like energetically, it helps me kind of reset. So I love tools that help me reset. I hmm, the, the one that she's got, 24 pounds for Aromatherapy Associates Polishing Body Brush. It's no key price, yes. Um, she does it every day. She does it every day. My goodness, that's... She's very fortunate. She must have somebody looking after those kids. She must have. Anyway, doing a body brush every day. Our skin must be amazing. Amazing. Yeah, because body brushing is good on a dry skin. Hey, listen, if you haven't got a body brush, I do like using a good um, skin scrub. Uh -huh. I like doing that, using a skin scrub onto dry skin and using it all over on a dry skin and then popping into the shower and showering off that's a quick way the body brush um i don't think you should use it on the neck she mentioned she does it all over the neck no i wouldn't do a body brush here or here no that's it's too it's too tough in the skin here and here 
No, I wouldn't do that. And we have to look after our necks. I'm trying very hard to look after mine. Um, but no, I don't. I think, you know, worth worth trying it. Body brushing is good. It does stimulate the blood flow to the skin. Good on areas that don't get a lot of blood circulation. You know, for the tops of the the thighs and the the love handles, great for that. <laughs> so, what's next? What's coming next, Miranda? Actually, really love this massage tool, and I've been using it a lot. This was given to me as a gift by my mother for Christmas and I've been using it almost every day. <sighs> so good. There you have it, half as bizarre. Ooh, <laughs> the Theragun G3 Therapy Massager. I think that looks great. You know, I do like that. I would like to try that. I think that's good. I'm going to put out a hint for my Christmas. Yeah, get me one of those. But it's £275. I better be good. <laughs> £275 for the G3 Percussive Therapy Massager. I do love it. Well, that is, that's been it for Miranda Kerr. I think she is a beautiful looking woman. I don't agree with every single thing that was in her products for her skin. Just saying that. Um, I did like, I liked, what did I like the most? I probably liked, um... It's a, it's a tough one because I did like the resurfacing serum and I did like the non glow face oil. So, you know, it's always good to try other things. It is. And I think that it's, it's a learning curve for you always to try something that you might like. I think she is beautiful. I think she's a great face for her own skincare brand. All the best to her. You're doing great. You obviously are. You look well. And you look beautiful, you look more than well. So I hope you're well and you're looking well. And remember, if you're using any interesting products, if you've used any of these Cora products, please put them in the comments below. Share the info with me. And it's great to hear from you. So please, if you've got any skincare concerns, you want to chat about anything, you can put it in the comments below and I will answer your skin problems. So I want you to have a good day today and a good week and look after yourself and thank you so much for watching. Bye!